Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks to all of you, uh, we reached 500 subscribers now, which is fantastic number. I'm so pleased for that. Um, obviously now heading for the thousands. I'm really pleased that you enjoy what I've got to say and all the activities and things that I do. And I really hope sincerely that this is as helpful and as beneficial as it can be to your lives and everything else that you do. The subject of this video is karma. A friend of mine recently asked me what that is and uh, in my recent travels in uh, Thailand and Spain I had a good sort of look around and thought about what this can mean and how it, how it functions. So I've done a bit of a research that I want to share with you today. So the word karma is actually from Sanskrit and um, it means uh, action or a deed. It is all about a actions that one can do that will bring future benefits or otherwise, depending what the person is doing. So literally the idea is that we are responsible for everything that happens in our life. All the good things and bad things are the result of our previous doing. That is very hard, isn't it? Imagine a situation where you're somewhere walking on the street and then suddenly someone is trying to hit you. And uh, being conscious in that moment and thinking, well, the person, I have never met the person before and they're trying to, you know, physically harm me. How is it my fault? The point is that in this terminology, it's not just about this life. As you know, in these religions, yeah, they have a reincarnation and stuff like that. And it's quite an interesting concept because it means that your body is just a shell and the inside, which obviously cannot be touched and destroyed, is something all containing called mind or spirit, whatever you want to call that. And that sort of comes back to keep developing itself, to you know, get, go to sort of lasting mind states and things like that. So if you think of it in these terms, you probably knew this person in the past and what they're doing right now is a result of your action. So you might have heard them five lives ago or something like that and they are now here bringing it back to you. Now this is really hard, isn't it? I mean, you think about you know, all the things that people have been bad to you, people, what they've done to you and stuff. But it really is, if you can take responsibility for it and actually not react in a bad way to it, then you kind of release yourself from this. So the worst case scenario actually that can happen is that you, you react really badly to it, you uh, aggravate the situation, you make it even worse than what it was and that means that the situation didn't get resolved and it will come back in the future again. So this is what I kind of learned and, and researched and stuff and I think it's, it's quite interesting to know and I think it's very, it could be quite a difficult concept to grasp but um, it does make things, some other things quite easy, you know, because then you think, you think to yourself, on the other hand, everything is happening the way it's supposed to if there is a bad situation in my life or something that is not that positive, I can learn from it and try to see what I can do to make it better. I hope this helps and uh, that you will find it useful. Again, thanks to all of you for, um, for achieving 500 subscribers. It really means a lot to me. And um, I will see you next week, guys. Take care.